Alright, so we got, so hopefully at this point you got your account set up, eBay's ready to go, credit card's ready to go, and you're at this. Everything's good. So, now I'm running the Epson DS510. I go for about I think about 120 bucks shipped used. And I'll show you the settings on this. Put your card in facing you. Player facing you. We'll get into inventory management in the, in the rows down the road. Now this is my settings. It seemed to work best. Dull image. That's how it's going to come with the check mark. Make sure that's all. 180 image 60 on brightness negative 60 on contrast this goes to high no matter what you're always going to have these different so the back is clear Front. I've scanned this card quite a few times, getting my settings correct. To me, it's a little pixely. So if I were to run it again, and then add the de-screening. A lot slower. So that cleans up the front, but has out of focus. The problem is the back is out of focus. So overall, I'm just kind of I'll leave it up to you. I prefer leaving that like that to have a good back versus clean up front and the blurry back. I don't I don't know. I'm kinda I don't know. I might actually settle on this one with the D screening. So this is kind of show you some of the options. I had the de-screening on with the same brightness contrast settings as before. Quick save, hit scan. I can, because you can read the back at least. Hmm. We'll leave it up to you guys. We'll leave it up to you. And I'm going to guess it's probably just for this scanner. Alright. Let's go with it in a, a different, different types of cards here. Everything stay the same? Yep. Okay. It, it will stay where you left off. But your saves will... I'll show you that in a second here. Blurry-ish, but you can read all the stats. I'm okay with that. As far as the actual card looks, that looks pretty darn close to it. Yeah, I'm good with that. Alright, and here's one problem I have noticed. A 
again this may be the scanner it will also you know it'll be up to your preference like that reads out okay yeah that's fine but if you know this this car this is supposed to be chrome and then the name is supposed to be chrome but as far as if you hold it off angle, you can't see the chrome. It's a little dark on the lettering. And these are, yeah, that's, that's pretty close outside of that. So if you adjust too much, you kind of lose focus of the player. And I think it, like these purple dots are right, or squares. And these aren't chrome, but the chrome kind of comes up that way. Different card. Hmm. I should take the D screen off. Same thing. You still can read that. It, it does look a little blurry, but he's up. He's on the ceiling. But again, like this, this logo is supposed to be chrome. But overall, it shows the card pretty well. So let's run it back through. Oh, I, I didn't really pay attention to which way I put that card in. He's to the left. Now he's on the ceiling. Hmm. We're talking a big difference for the speed, at least. The focus is better on the back. How are we talking on the front? Yeah, I just it gets a little blurry. It kind of gets rid of little pixels. So I'm going to stick with the D screen for now. Let's run. Let's see here. What was the car before that? So let's run this guy without the D-screen. See how that's all these light lines? I think it kind of blurs it out. Yeah, because like the Rockies looks better. And you know what? I'm kind of becoming a fan of no D-screen because that uniform looks way better. Okay, let's run it through again. Dark cards had no no screen. Yeah, actually, I, overall, I'm gonna have to go with that. Screened just looks sharper, like the lettering. Okay, no de screening. All right, so let's try a optic in a penny sleeve. Let's see what that does with the penny sleeve. Last time I tried this, it didn't work out too well. Yeah, pulled the sleeve off. <laughs> so, not the best scanner with sleeves. You can see the sleeve getting pulled off. So, let's try this shiny optic. Don't know something. What year is this? 21? Yeah. Without it. And then we'll de-screen it. So that's no sleeve. Okay, let's see if it pulled any marks on the front. 
Mm, no. There's supposed to be a mark right here in the card that didn't show. It's showing the outline. But it's not showing like the chrome or holographic, whatever you want to call that finish look to it. Like this, th these up here aren't as pronounced on the core by eye. The back it doesn't show a fingerprint right there. That line right there, I don't see that on the card. Huh. And I don't see that line going down it. I see it on the Y, which didn't show up. Interesting. So that's kind of kind of the ups and downs of it. But that is what the Epson DS510 is going to do for you. I've played with the settings fairly decent amount of time. Doesn't really get any better or worse. Can't run penny sleeves through it. I'll try the chrome, this optic in the uh, D screening and just see if that bring, I doubt it's going to do any different. See if it brings that chrome finish to it. Now, if anybody's buying these cards, I'm pretty sure they're very well aware of But they're very well, like you can see the optic Don Ross better. The lettering better. Yeah. Yeah, no D screen. I don't think people are really going to be that upset with you. I think they know what they're buying. Right? So, with that being said, that will be your settings for the Epson DS510. Your main settings, take this off so you don't get two pictures. This is all stock. Oh. So you can't... I don't, I don't, I don't quite get all that, but that's alright. The orientation, I have a feeling for picture one and two. And it just died of course this program does do that rotate 180 color 300 that stock and then hold on no. Go to dark arts. Yeah. Same there. This is high. To brightness, contrast, and they're just green. And then zeroed out here. Yeah. So that's. That's the settings for the Epson uh, DS510 and Chrono Card. Trying to play as nice as possible. Dad, I want to play another one. I'm ready.